every now and then you want to bandsaw material that uh, requires a slower speed than what you can achieve when you're hooked to the headstock. Um, as you can see right now, I'm, uh, I'm ready to saw. But even at the slowest speed, this bandsaw is running uh, at over a thousand feet per minute. And uh, if I wanted to do plastic, I'd have to get that down to at least 750 feet per minute, maybe even slower, otherwise the plastic would melt. Uh, you can uh, actually do that with our speed reducer. Now, most of you um, are uh, aware that we have one and think that it's meant to be mounted on the front end of the headstock, and it is. But it can also be mounted on the tail end. I'll show you how here. If you take this uh, speed reducer, and we're going to a little nylon cup here inside the snap. We're going to take that nylon cup out, and we have a one of these uh, five spline power couplings that came with the speed reducer. We're going to swap the nylon cup for this hub. Tighten that down. Okay. Now put the nylon cup on the back of the, of the speed reducer here. And that's all there is to it. At this point, we can hook the speed reducer directly to the bandsaw. Tighten down there, put our power coupling inside the snout here, bring the Mark V headstock up, and tighten down the Mark V headstock. Make sure that the, uh, make sure that the speed reducer is tightened down, and let's try it. There you go. Moving so slow now. I can almost see the individual teeth going by on here. I, actually, I can get this down way below 350 uh, feet per minute, slow enough to do uh, materials like bones and non-ferrous metals. I'm Nick Angler, director of the Chopsmith National Woodworking Academy, and we've got tip, uh, tips like this out the gazigi. Come see us. At Chopsmith's website, you'll find dozens of free videos on all kinds of woodworking projects, from preparing lumber to applying a finish. Twice a month, we webcast a two-hour sawdust session where you can ask questions and get woodworking help right over your computer. To find out more, come visit us at Chopsmith.com.